Some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, Katie Kidd has a personal message to all her lovers and haters, her friends and her enemies. So, let's sit down and watch. Oh, and by the way, I had to take out a lot of dead air on this one. I mean, it's over 30 minutes long and only 10 minutes of usable uh, material. Nope, they'll never forget seeing Betty Buttcrack get arrested. The kids. And that's how they act. <laughs> and then the people on the comments saying that stuff. Telling, <laughs> they don't even know me. They've never spoken to me, never met me. Nothing. Actions speak louder than words. And the actions that you have partaken in in the past few weeks speak quite clearly that you should not be allowed anywhere near a school. If I had any children whatsoever, I would not allow you within a hundred feet of them. And there are the judges that put people in prison, in jail, because of their nasty mouths, saying the kind of things they say. So, you know, trying to get you to give up and oppress you and your opinion and what you think. Sorry. <laughs> it ain't gonna happen over here Katie nobody is trying to oppress your opinions on anything at all though in your videos over the past few weeks that I have watched you have demonstrated a clear and present inability to understand the simplest concepts of pedagogy I mean would you be able to tell the difference between a formative assessment and a subnative assessment if not, I would suggest you leave it up to the professionals and go back to whatever it is you were doing before. I've let you guys run things long enough, and you ran them right into the ground. All of us auditors that are doing this, we trusted you. Correct me if I'm wrong, but so far you're the only auditor that I've seen that has even attempted to audit a school. I've seen them audit churches, landfills, animal shelters, etc., etc., but so far you're the only one that I've seen audit a school because I'm sure the other auditors have some sense of honor when it comes to children. I mean, hell, I was watching Big West do an audit today, and he turned off the camera because there were children in the area. He may be a big wuss, but at least he has some honor when it comes to dealing with children. To take care of our kids and the schools. And look at all this rusted. Look, look at the, they're not taking care of them. There's water, they're all wet. It's rusted right here, right there. All of this, that's mildew right here at the school. So, I mean, it's up there on the roof inside inside there where the kids are and yeah so no no more they think they're in charge they think they're all gods you know it's like no you're not <laughs> you're not gods look at the way you talk to betty buttcrack that's pretty disgusting and there's about 10 of you on there and you're all feeding off of each other in a negative, evil, wicked way. And so people are reading that and I'm leaving it on there so they could read it. Because I think they need to know. Oh, preschool. I thought that was looked like a preschool. This is a preschool. <laughs> Welcome. See what they're hiding back here? Do not enter if you have body ache, congestion, cough. There's your COVID sign. Face covering required indoors. Child care. <laughs> right here. 
city of Arroyo Grande Recreation Department. The Recreation Department is involved in your kids. <laughs> See? Did you know that? That the city of Arroyo Grande, right here, look at the sign. Hold on. I'm trying to get you a picture of the this. But it's all bent. Here's a preschool for you. Right here. Right in here, right with the school. Told you. This over here. Yeah, lock them in there. Lock the parents out. And all the ones, the negative comments on my channel, that's why they want to stop me in my tracks. They don't want me to expose the fact that they've commingled preschools with elementary schools. State-run preschool, again, right here. Look at all the junk on the ground. Cardboard box, mildew up on the roof, chipping off paint, rust. That's why you want private people to do this because Publix no look look at all these little pieces of toys and stuff down there they can choke on this is a preschool and that is another reason why you wouldn't be allowed in a preschool or any other school for that matter you just misidentified what a choking hazard is those toys are way too big to be choking hazards a kid wouldn't be able to put it down their mouth, let alone choke on them. Right here. A preschool. Have a look. A cardboard box for your kids to play in. Which, you know, at home, that's fine. But at school? Look at this place. That table that comes out from the fence right here. Look at this. Look at that. So you leave the trolls in charge and this is what you get. Cardboard boxes, fences that are hanging off the fence, table, dirty, filthy preschool full of shipping paint and mildew. Lock gates, just like the rest. And this, you could trip right on that. I just about did. Look at this thing. It's metal. Sticking out of the ground. Right in front of the preschool. So. This is a preschool. Don't forget. Betty Butt Cracks watching you too. Betty Butt Crack watching you. What's in here with the fence closed? More chairs, more boxes. A preschool, Lord. They have it hidden back here. Another state-run preschool. And that's what it looks like. Like this. Chairs for the adults to sit in. And dirt everywhere. Not much of a preschool. Pretty creepy. But there you have it. Preschool. Your kiddo will love coming to school. Ages three to five. Your kiddo. Bring your little kiddo over here where there's pesticide mold chipping paint pipes sticking out from the ground uh creepy people that work with kids that shouldn't be and the ones that want to keep people that are in this situation as far away from the schools as possible why because they're part of the problem and they're never going to stop betty Never. What's that building for?
Huh? Tell me. What is it? What's going on around this joint? This little school here with the preschool in the back. Huh? Yeah, leave me a comment about that one. You see any kids? No kids. No, they're not here, but Betty is checking on their school. See what's going on over here with all the holes and the mold and the chipping paint and, you know, snow. No wonder they don't want you here. And that's pretty much the point of the message right there. She is not going to stop what she's doing. She's going to keep on harassing the schools. And who knows what may come out of this.